Four years ago, Alan Ennis and David Daly pitched the same product on the UK version of the show. Now with fully guaranteed patents, they're back to try their luck with our dragons. The guys are looking for 25,000 euro in exchange for 10% of their company. Hi, my name is Alan Ennis and this is Dave Daly. And we're here today to tell you about our product, which is a hygienic replacement for the unhygienic toilet brush. It's like a power wash for the inside of your toilet. It uses fresh water that's already coming into your household through the mains. It has an antibacterial tablet inside, which also then means you've got a hygienic clean also. We have a fully granted UK patent, and we also have a fully granted European patent, as in from last week. We have two prototypes, one of which we have tested and used, <coughs> and the product does work. Over to Dave for some more. With the granting of our UK and European patent, the potential for this product is colossal. In Ireland and the UK alone, there are 27 million households. There are two ways to make money from this product. The first is the sale of the device itself, and the second is the licensing of the tablet. There are also two routes to market, the first being uh, manufacturing and distribution, and the second, <coughs> licensing. We are here today looking for an investment of 25,000 euro for a 10% equity share in our product. We would be delighted to have business professionals such as yourselves to come on board with us and bring this unique product to the next level. Thank you for your time, and we'd love to answer any questions. Given their previous experience, it's not surprising that Dave and Alan's presentation is smooth and authoritative. But they know they'll have to be equally impressive when it comes to the dragon's questioning. Alan, Dave, hi, I'm Sean. Hi, hi. hi Sean. Tell me where you're thinking with regard to the business at the moment. Are you looking at the manufacturing side or are you looking at the licensing side? Okay. We feel at this particular moment in time, with our experience, we don't have the, ne the necessary level of experience to actually manufacture ourselves and distribute it. The advice we've, t we've, been, we've been given is the best road for us is licensing. But obviously we would need someone on board with the experience to go in and negotiate that type of, of deal for us. Dave. Alan. Hi. Hi. Just show us this tablet goes into is the side of the toilet? Yeah, basically, uh, this is going to hang on the side of the toilet. This is like a child safety lock. But once you take out the unit itself, what you have up the front here is a twist off nose, and then the tablet goes inside here. So then once you press the trigger and the water comes from behind, it goes over the tablet, which would slowly dissolve, which would then uh, release the antibacterial agent or perhaps even lime scale killing agent into the toilet as you're cleaning it and then once you switch off the let go so of is the this going to the cistern or in the no every toilet has got a, a, a direct water feed yes. coming into it from, yeah. from, from a copper pipe yeah. yeah what we intend to do is to break into that copper pipe with a self um, tapping device with a hose mechanism which is attached to the head which attaches to your toilet. We have constant water at all times. It doesn't, it, it's not relevant whether the water fills up or not. We have a direct yeah. feed of water. It just, this just sits on the side of the cistern. It doesn't have anything to do with right. the water yeah. that's actually sitting there. So can I have a closer look at this? Of course you can. Have a go. <laughs> Bobby Kerr is a man who's never been afraid to get his hands dirty, especially if there's potential profits to be made. And although the atmosphere in the den might seem lighthearted, <laughs> the other dragons are equally focused on finding out about the product and the guys behind it. Where did you come up with this idea or what well, put it into your head? The, tr that the, you the truth of it is, I've never liked having to use the toilet brush. I think it's a filthy, horrible sure. yeah. mechanism. Um, no one I know have ever spoken to likes Absolutely. using it. And it's just, I always thought there had to be a hygienic way of doing it. Mm. And I spoke to Alan about my idea and basically we said, look, let's try and develop a concept. Let's up with some ideas. How did you guys meet? We met, we both lived in the UK. I lived in the UK for 12 years. Dave lived over there for a number of years as well. And I was leaving, I was a regional sales manager for a telecoms company and I was leaving that role to go to another company and Dave was coming in and my new sales manager gave Dave the job and then rang me and said, I've just hired an Irish guy, you might like to talk to him. So we became friends, friends. pretty much straight away. And it was one day at Leeds Castle with my wife and Dave's uh, other half that we were sitting there and he told me about this idea that he had that there must be something better than a, to than, than a toilet brush. And I thought, well, we've got clean water. Let's try and harness that. Let's try and use it somehow. And then it developed from there. And then we thought, well, let's put a tablet in because not only is it going to be hygienic, mm. but there's ongoing revenue as well from that as well. So, it no. looks like somebody you'd see in a hospital. I understand what you're saying. How would that look in a very expensive bathroom? These can be made to facilitate any particular type of bathroom. Chrome, plastic, whichever, whichever needs to do. 
Alan and Dave seem to feel their product can be tailored to suit various different markets. But Sarah Newman clearly wonders if they've done their research thoroughly enough. Alan and Dave, I'm Hi. Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Have you spoken to any bathroom manufacturers? Where we are at the moment uh, is when we, we came up with this idea, we've just been in touch in the last literally about eight weeks uh, with a gentleman who worked for Technical Concept and they're at the forefront of bringing forward uh, bathroom, uh, bathroom accessories. Have you spoken to any bathroom manufacturers? Yes or no? No, no is the answer. Okay, surely wouldn't it be the bathroom manufacturers that would be making this in conjunction with the toilet? We see that the... the yes or no? Yes Please. and no. <laughs> okay, so, sorry. Because yeah. I'm getting confused. I yes. see this as being something that needs to come with the toilet. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Uh, yeah, yes? It yes. will, oh, no. but we, we actually see that the retrofit market is the biggest market because you can buy this pack. It literally takes about two minutes to install. So we do actually envisage that this is something that you would go out and you would buy for your current toilet as it is and you would be able to fit it yourself in your own home. It's for, I don't see it like that. A difference of opinion between Sarah Newman and an entrepreneur doesn't usually have a happy ending, but there still seems to be plenty of interest in what Dave and Alan are selling. What do you call the product? We've been calling it so far because the original one looked something like a snake, we just call it, we actually started calling it the Toilet Cobra because it looked like a cobra's head. So Toilet Cobra, Toilet Snake is what we've been calling it till now. Could have brought connotations. We expected that. Is it a hard concept to grasp that would it be possible to see these in every hospital, every hotel, every office building? Yeah. You know, th th that's the type of markets that could be opened up to us. But we do need help, guys. You know, if you do think there is, is potential in this product, that's why we're here today. We can't bring it any further than we brought it. You know, that's why we're here. How much do you see the units costing per unit? We've done investigation, we haven't had this one that long on this one in the UK, and we found that this was going to retail uh, for around 17 99 uh, to 29 99 for the unit, and that would be the hose, and that would be the self-tapping unit, uh, and everything packaged ready to, ready to go. They can be made in China, and again, we've done a research for less than two pounds sterling. The other um, exciting part of it, I think, is if you could get this product to market, the residual income from the tablet would be major, could mm. be major. Is it a special tablet? Or? Absolutely, yeah. it would be patented. It could only be used in this product. Yeah. Once the tablet, as I say earlier on, eroded, there would be a little uh, a plunger behind it and that would seal off the unit and it would not work at all. So therefore, the user uh, in the household would have to go and buy a new set of tablets and then put the tablet back in for it to work. And the reason for that is that we would be selling this and marketing this as a hygienic way to clean the toilet. And I think it'd be unfair to ourselves and to the, to the consumer as well to use it without the tablet because it's not hygienic then. It's, it doesn't have the antibacterial tablet inside. Uh, and also, uh, let's be straight with you, it is more income so it's a double-sided thing for us. The guys are looking for a €25,000 investment, but there's no indication as to whether they'll get it. However, when Sarah finally delivers her verdict, it doesn't come as a complete surprise. Guys, I've travelled extensively around the world, and I know for a fact that there's something much smaller and neater than that already hooked onto the side of a great deal of toilets, mm. particularly in mainland Europe. So I'm going to declare myself out, but wish you well. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to share the same sentiments. I, I like you guys as promoters of the product. I think you're the right guys. For me, I'm not convinced that it's the right product because it's at such an early stage, I think it would need a lot of personal attention and time to get it from this concept stage. And as somebody who's not particularly well renowned for aiming anything in the bathroom. Uh, <laughs> even the mechanism that nature gave me, uh, that is probably going to cause me great difficulty. So, my mouth. Well, if Sean was aiming to disappoint Dave and Alan, he succeeded. There's still three dragons undeclared, but the guys know they'll have to work hard if they want to convince them of the value of their product. There is a need for something out there, but none of these products have taken away fully the use uh, or the need for a toilet brush. And before I came up, as most people probably did, uh, I got the, uh, the bit of the jitters in the nerves. <laughs> I needed to go to the loo, and I noticed in there, there was a toilet brush, and may I say, it certainly wasn't a nice sight. I genuinely believe that this will become something that everybody's gonna have. It's hygienic, it's clean, and it does really do the yeah. job. 
You're absolutely right. I'd love to bring you home, guys. <laughs> I am here saying, no way, no way, and they keep yeah. pulling me yeah. back in. You know, just... Oh. <laughs> That's my heart. Yeah. Yes. Okay. My business brain here is saying, Gavin, get out. You yeah, know? Yeah. Um, yeah. Lads, let me just uh, help you along where I am. There's a bit of me that, that feels that there's a flaw in the product, so I'm going to flush myself out. <laughs> <laughs> With the lavatory puns really starting to kick in, Dave and Alan realise their chance might be slipping away. Some lateral thinking will be required if the situation is to be salvaged. Yeah. It, it, it might even be a case, guys, that, look, we shake hands today for €25,000 to develop the product further, but you get in touch with the right person, 25000 doesn't need to be spent on this product. Someone is willing to take it off our hands as is. In that case, your money is handed back to you immediately. Okay. I'm going to give you my support. I'm going to run with it on that basis, absolutely. You're two terrific guys, and I think I wouldn't be doing my job here if we didn't encourage people like you. So Thank you. Thank you very much. So I'm going to give you the 25,000 and uh, I'll do it for the, for the 10%. There's Thank no, you very much. Thank you. Appreciate here, it. Because I don't really know what I'm getting into. But I could <laughs> tell you is that I do have a company in the UK that I work with closely that are sort of design orientated and I'll be relying on their help to try and help you. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Thank you together, very much. So. Thank you. Dave and Alan's fighting spirit has won them the investment they wanted. It only remains to be seen how the last remaining dragon will react to Niall O'Farrell's bid. Alan and Dave, I want to commend you, but I also want to commend my fellow dragon, Niall, here. He's done you a favour. He's taken a punt because he likes you. We Thank all you. liked you. I'm out. Thank you very much indeed. And I, I genuinely hope one day, for all of our sakes, that you'll be in a hotel or perhaps your own house and using it one day. And uh, we'll all be happy. Thank you very Great. much. You're accepting my yes, offer. Yes, absolutely. We'd love to accept your offer. 5,000 for 10 percent, and I hope I haven't flushed my money down the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Niall seals the deal with one last pun, but opinion seems divided as to the wisdom of his decision. You did good there, Niall. Yeah, you did. You did you something. Did. You did something good today. I'd like you, yeah. when you go home, to be able to explain that, what you just that. invested <laughs> in. Firstly, congratulations, Alan Thank you. and Dave. Thanks, you succeeded in getting a €25,000 investment in return for a 10% stake in the company. Um, how do you feel it went? I, I thought it was brilliant. Um, I didn't quite know what to expect when I came in, but uh, I think I uh, commend David on a great job, and we got across the points we needed to make and you know, ultimately came out with the investment and absolutely thrilled you know, to, to have the Dragon on board. It's, I, I, I'm almost speechless. Dave, it seemed as if uh, you guys weren't coming in looking for an enormous sum of money yeah. with worldwide takeover ambitions. You knew what you wanted, and you wanted the support of the Dragons as much as the, the cash. Absolutely. We, we did our homework, Richard, and the truth of it is these guys are not going to waste their money. They want a, a realistic valuation of your product, and I felt um, we did a good job in that. We did a lot of homework, a lot of preparation work, mm -hmm. and it paid off. Well, look, yeah. congratulations to you Thank both, you. and the best of luck. Thank you very much.